Hi, I'm Randy Vance. I'm in Cadillac, Michigan with the folks at Scarab. This is the Scarab 285. Now, jet-powered engines have become more and more powerful, and this one is powered with dual 300 horsepower Rotax supercharged engines. Performance is awesome. The acceleration was six seconds to 30 miles per hour, but what we really liked was the top speed of 55 miles per hour, and we had beautiful handling through sharp turns. It stuck in them, and it was smooth and sweet. Now, these high-tech engines are digitally controlled through the control panel right here. It's a touchscreen system. Now, here's my favorite function. You've got several modes to operate the boat by. Here's ski mode. I can set up five different skier profiles. Eco helps you maximize fuel economy. Docking decreases throttle sensitivity for easier docking. Cruise control gives you a speed control, or you can just operate it normally with complete control of the throttle in your hand. Here are all your audio controls. There's a separate panel on the left side that gives your passenger control over volume and channel selection as well. It also gives them a peek at the speedometer so they can track your progress down the lake. You also have a remote control for the audio system on the transom, so there's complete control wherever you're enjoying the music from this premium stereo on board. Now we think the dashboard and the passenger console should set the tone for styling throughout the boat. Scarab's done a great job here. Take a look at this. You've got contrasting colors that blend together nicely. You've also got a billeted aluminum dash panel here for your switches. You've got billeted grab rails here. And if you look at your throttle, that's even got a billeted aluminum throttle arm. It's a great look. And it's complemented on the passenger console side with this aluminum billeted glove box. But here's what's really nice. You've got a smartphone charger, both for your passenger and your captain and it's a wireless charger as well. Now the bucket seat is signature Scarab. One of the first things I notice is this cutout right here. When you turn sideways, that lets you turn around so that you can see your water skier and you've got a flip up bolster. Look at the styling of it though. You've got this scale printed titanium vinyl. You've also got the beige vinyl that's sort of fawn colored. But then come over here, look at the passenger side. It's double wide with a flip up bolster, but I like this feature. You can fix it so that it's aft facing seating as well. Under the starboard jump seat, you've got a waste basket and an electric refrigerator. Another cool feature on the Scarab 285 is the aft seating. Flip the seat back aft and you've got a forward facing lounge and a rumble seat aft but you can flip that lounge back all the way forward and make it a full width sun pad. Now the swim platform is extremely spacious and I like the marine mat on it. Underneath these two hatches, you've got rope lockers to keep ski ropes after you've had your ride. There's a spacious walk through to the cockpit from the transom, which gives you a great boarding option. Now, if you don't think you have enough passenger space in the cockpit, take a look at this forward seating. Got an extra wide seat here on the port side. I like the leg space here, and then wrap around seating on the starboard that goes across the bow. It's an extra wide bow, and that gives you more seating. But Scarab's designed something here that I've seen now for the first time. No one else offers this forward compartment access to the head compartment. It gives you plenty of room inside and an easy way in and out. Now in our tests, we thought the Scarab 285 had plenty of horsepower and opulent luxury. There's plenty on board to entertain a big crew all day and the conveniences you need to keep them happy. I'm Randy Vance for Boating Magazine and this is the Scarab 285.